AI has certainly gone a long way from the introduction of ChatGPT to being able to convert text into images to now being able to convert text to even videos. But what I'll be discussing in this video is how to actually use AI to build your own website. Specifically, what I'll be discussing are five AI website builders that you can start using to build your website, whether it's a landing page or a portfolio kind of website. So let's get started. The first AI website builder that you can use is called Hocus. I like the interface and the UI and UX of Hocus. I'll show you exactly how it works, but essentially what you're able to create uh, websites based on eight quick questions. A couple of its features is being able to have this kind of booking system that they have in place. It's built in. You can also start a store and have a blog in place on your website integrated. For instance, if you've got a beauty and wellness business, here are a couple of key features that you can integrate, including an online booking system. You've got team scheduling, client management, and you can also create beautiful portfolios using it. Once you've signed up, you'll answer some questions as described on their landing page. So asking what category best describes your website's purpose. Is it a store? Is it a service? Is it a portfolio or blog? You're given a few subcategories here. So let's say we are a marketing agency. In the next step, it's asking personalize your website by selecting the services you wished to offer. So I'll just select social media management. Let's say we want to sell products and get bookings, but not collect testimonials. Let's do that. Next is where your business is located. Is there a business address? Is there a service area or online business only? I'll select online business only. All right, what do you want your business to be called? I'll just name mine XYZ agency. Here's where you can highlight three unique aspects of your business. So let's say friendly customer service. We've got affordable prices, easy navigation. Let's choose those and click on continue. All right, one of the final steps is how how would you like your website visitors to contact you? Phone, website contact, email address. You can also select uh, multiple by entering your email address for email address and then phone number for phone. But I'll just choose a website contact form in this instance. And it has generated after all the, that questionnaire. Not bad, we've got like a hero head at the top with headline, call to action buttons right here, learn more and book now. We've got services as well as and the some of the features on the right you've got different styles the first style we've got a second style right here it has made changes to the layout and the image that it's used as well as the font combinations i noticed let's check out the third style here's what it looks like if you want more of the professional look this is one to go for you can also change the color palette to something different so we'll switch between these so you can see what they look like as well as font pairs so you've got different font pairs depending which ones you like so it is emphasizing that it's it's just an example preview only. So what we need to do next is click on create my website. Okay, so it is done. It is now in the editing mode where you can go in and change the headings, even using the AI writer that's built in if you need assistance. So Hocus makes it easy for you to simply navigate and change what you want. On the left, you've got a few options such as adding a new widget to the page. You've got website pages. So if you wanna add an about page and things like that, you can and do that with that and go to store. So this is where the e-commerce is integrated as well as the actual design and uploading images. At the top is your website's address. If you want to use a custom domain, then you will need to upgrade. Upgrading includes a custom domain, unlimited image uploads and AI content generation plus more features. At the moment, these are what the plans look like, $150 a year. Otherwise on a monthly basis, it's $15. So my thoughts on Hocus is that it's it's easy to use, beginner friendly. All you needed to do was answer a few questions and then out comes your website. It's easy to use in terms of the tools and you're able to move things up and down, adding different elements, adding different widgets to the website. But what it lacks is, I guess, that flexibility. So if you need something more advanced where you can play around with the settings more and the layout, then Hocus may not be your choice. But because it is that simple to use, it may be all you really need to get your website up and running. 
Okay, next up on the list is from our kind sponsor, Hostinger. They've got a built-in AI website builder that you can use. They primarily are a web hosting company, but because it is a web hosting company, they know exactly what a website involves and the server to back it up, right? You will see in a minute just how simple it is to use Hostinger to build your website plus more. But in terms of their pricing, they start at just $2.99 per month and they always have a sale going on. So if you simply look in the description box below, I've got a link that goes straight to Hostinger and there's an extra discount that you can use. And that code is Aurelius. If you simply enter it at checkout, you get a further discount on top of the already reduced prices. But the plan I recommend you go with is Hostinger's business plan starting at just $3.99 per month. In addition to some of the top features such as being able to create up to 100 websites, you get 200 gigabytes of storage. You also get free email and a free domain name of your choice. And especially if you're selling something online, you get top e-commerce features not found in the other plan. In addition, 0% transaction fees, so hosting it doesn't charge any fees whenever you sell a product. Plus, you can accept over 20 payment methods on your e-commerce website. Again, by using my link, you do get a coupon code. So when you check out, click on have a coupon code, enter Aurelius as the coupon code and apply. And then you get a further discount on top of the discount that they currently have. This of course is on their 48 months plan, but you can select 12 months and the discount will still apply. Well, let's now go ahead and build a website using Hostinger's AI website builder. And it's going to ask you, do you want to create or migrate a website? We want to create a new website. And here's where the fun begins. You can start with Hostinger's AI website builder, which is what we're going to do, or even use WordPress for more flexibility and advanced options. But we are going to use Hostinger's website builder and you'll see later on just how easy it is to use. Next is to name your website. In this case, we are going to claim a free domain because I do have a premium account and I signed up for that I am given a free domain name to register and associate this website with so I'll go in here and claim a free domain I'm going to register a hypothetical business called Aurelius Talks Tech and from the drop down I'll just select a .com and search to see if it's available follow the rest of the steps and once you're done you'll be taken here where it says let's create your website in one minute so let's start creating next is tell us about your website enter your brand name your website type whether it's an online store blog Blog, business showcase portfolio or other and then describe what you do so at this point you can simply sit back and relax all right so that took less than a minute to produce what you see right now we've got the hero header right here we've got products that we can start you know using as you know placeholders for our actual products to sell and some features and benefits going on reviews testimonials delivery kind of policies at the bottom we've got subscribe to the newsletter as well as a map starting back at the top this is what this is what we can play around with we can change the different template styles right here so if you don't like the first one change it to that play around with it right this is what it's all about just because the ai website builder produced this you're not fixated and stuck with using that template you can very well customize it and the beauty of using hosting as ai website builder is that it's completely flexible because it is a web host and a web website builder first and then all these AI website builder is a byproduct of it but a couple of other things that you can play around with right here is the style different color palettes as you can see and it changes in real time depending on your branding you can also change the different font pairings so if you don't like that one you can change it to this click on pages and you can easily add a blog in one click we can also add an online store to the navigation so now it's called products and even appointments if you work with clients but now let's take it further because what we're going to do is click on continue to edit and right here is where you can fully customize your website to your liking and it's as easy as dragging and dropping so there's no playing around with code and yes you can do all the usual things like adding your own headings and changing what you see in terms of the text looking on the left you can add different elements from the list of elements library pages and navigation is where you control the pages on your website you can even add a new page website styles will take you to the area where you can change specific 
colors of your website as well as the text, different button shapes and even animations too. Now, because we selected an online store, what you can do is go to online store and these are the placeholders that you see. I did find the relevant ones related to, I guess, tech, which is what I describe my business as. Click on manage store. I'm just going to call it a realist talks tech store and click on continue. I'm just going to use my local currency, Australian dollars. And here is where we can manage all our products. So you can see the placeholders right now, or we can start adding new products by clicking on one of these types or whether it's a physical product, digital service, donation or appointment, select from those. And under store settings is where you can configure your payment settings, how you wanna get paid. So super simple to integrate e-commerce into your website using Hostinger. Apart from that, you can add your own blog and add your blog posts right here. You've got a couple of AI tools as well, including a logo maker, AI writer and heat map that you can integrate as well as analytics, which is what I also love about Hostinger because it is a web hosting company, you're given the details, the metrics and the analytics, so you, you can dive deeper and know exactly where your traffic sources are coming from, your visitor behavior and more. And now your website is ready. So if you're selling products, you can start selling right away or book in those clients. And yes, your website will be compatible on both desktop and mobile devices, as you can see. So if you like what you see, look in the description box below where there's a link to Hostinger, where you can get a further discount using my coupon code, Aurelius. The next AI website builder is called Durable and their claim is you can build a website in 30 seconds with AI. I did try this, but of course it's not as flexible as what you would get if you were to build your website with hosting app. But let's click on generate your website and see what can come up with. The first question is what type of business are you building? From the list, you can choose accounting, landscaping, life coaching, and more, but let's choose accounting in this example. Click on next. What's the name of your business this time? Now it's doing the process of picking a color palette and choosing other things for the website's uh, layout. And it says your website is ready. So that took about a minute or two. And here's where you're taken. You can go to this editor and regenerate certain sections. So let's say we want to regenerate the heading and now it's generated a different heading with a different uh, subheading as well. Down below are other features like the services, meet the team and other elements on the page. Now it will encourage you to sign up for an account because when we initially went to Durable, you didn't need an account. So I guess that's their way of kind of reeling you in just to give the platform a try. Only after you've signed up, you can go further and edit different sections. So we can edit the actual heading and you've got this kind of sidebar. So you can't really edit right where you see. So it's not what you see is what you get kind of thing. Enter your heading right here, subtext and change the alignments and buttons and images. You can create new pages by clicking on create a page and choosing from one of these pre-made templates, different device views and optimization, as well as again, being able to regenerate. But apart from all that, quite rigid and not so flexible. So if that's something you want and you simply want a website that looks similar to this, then Durable might be all you need. Next up, we've got TenWeb, which originally was a website builder, but now they've integrated AI to it. When you click on generate your website, that'll take you to the wizard and the steps. What makes, I guess, TenWeb different is that it actually creates a WordPress website for you with the WordPress backend, right? So once you click on create, you can create a new website with AI. And here are the steps you go through. So selecting the business type, I'll just select digital agency. Very similar steps to some of the other tools that we've already mentioned. Choose a style, let's choose ocean, click on next. Choose your website design, I'll just select the first one, click on next. I'll enter my company name as well as describing the company. So it says get better results by importing more detailed content. So I've just said an accounting firm focus on tech startups. I've described the business more and let's click on next. And here enter three main services or features. I've just put friendly service, tax planning and lodgement. Enter contact details, but I'll skip this step. Choose a tone of voice for the content of your website. In this case, I'll just choose formal since it's a professional service. Once signed up, it will create your website. It'll show you the process as shown here. This is what it's produced. Not too bad. It says tech startup accounting with tax planning, got services, got some rate ratings, even though these are not real, some features, benefits, the team. The only thing about 10 web is that you do need to subscribe to one of the paid plans. I think there is a trial, but if you click on edit, it will prompt you to give it a try 
trial for seven days and you'll get access to all these things. But when you click on try, you'll be asked to sign up to one of its plans from personal to agency. And then you'll need to enter your payment details. So this may not be for you if you don't want to commit just yet. But if you like what you saw and what it's produced in the preview, then it may be worth you know, going and trying it out for seven days. There's no commitment, you can cancel it. But that's 10Web in a nutshell. The last and final AI website builder is called Mixo. This one promises to launch a startup in seconds with AI, which I feel is a little misleading because, you know, it's not fully launching your startup, but more so the actual website. When you click on get started for free, it'll take you to the steps. So what's your startup about? I've just used an example from here. So personalized yoga plans to help members improve and reach their goals. Let's click on a generate site and see what it's going to come up with. The thing with Mixo is that it actually helps you come up with a brand name so it may not be for you but what it's come up with is yoga flow in this case of course there's no guarantee that yoga flow is available as a business name it could be trademarked the domain name may not be available but i think for testing purposes it may be useful but here we go this is what it's produced we've got like this heading and a an email address form uh, that you can enter and some other features and benefits and yeah the thing with mixer is that it heavily focuses on building a an email subscriber base. I don't believe there's a, an option to add e-commerce in integration and things like that. So it's mainly just to collect emails. The editor is quite simple to use. This is a website that I generated not too long ago, but if you go to settings on the page, you can upload your own site logo, changing different fonts and colors. So really basic in that case. But if you do want to publish, you can publish for free, but only have one page. So good enough for like a simple landing page. Otherwise, if you want more, you will need to upgrade. Out of all the AI website builders, Mixo is perhaps the easiest in terms of generating a website, but of course it's all just making it all up using AI and AI generated content and images. But in terms of flexibility, it's just not there for someone who wants to get a website out there. It may not be enough. All right, and those are five AI website builders to give a try. I'll leave links to all of these services and platforms below this video. So you can go there, take a look, experiment it for yourself to see which one you like. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. And if you got value from this video, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Take care for now, and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch right here and here.